Hi everyone, I welcome you to this lecture titled Temperature Coefficient of Resistance. Okay, so the temperature coefficient of resistance is simply the rise in resistance of a material per degree rise in temperature to the original resistance. What that simply means is you'll be given the formula like that. This is the formula for temperature coefficient of a material where alpha t is simply the temperature coefficient at a given temperature alpha zero is the temperature coefficient of resistance at zero degrees t is the temperature at which the temperature coefficient is to be determined okay so resistance at any temperature is given by this rt which is the resistance at the given temperature is equal to ro the resistance at the initial temperature open bracket one plus R0, which is the temperature coefficient of resistance at 0 degrees, and then T, which is the given temperature. Okay, and then resistance at a temperature called T1 is given by, so you have resistance at the temperature called T1 is equal to the initial resistance plus 1 times 1 plus alpha 0, then T1, all these parameters have been defined. Resistance at temperature 2 is given by. Mm -hmm. RT2, the RO maintains 1 plus. So the resistance, which is the subject there, will usually have its temperature there. Then here you have the initial temperature and the, the temperature coefficient at that temperature. So the value here will correspond to the value there, meaning the resistance here will have its temperature coefficient at, of that resistance there. Okay. So with the two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, when you divide equation 1, when you divide equation 2 by 1, you're going to have this equation, where you have this R2, the second equation, which is the numerator, the first equation is the denominator. When you do that, obviously, RO and RO will cancel. Then, if you make R2 the subject of the formula, from the previous equation, the equation will reduce to this. Therefore, RT2 is simply given by RT1, 1 plus alpha 1, then the difference in the temperatures. What this simply means is, when you are finding the, the resistance at a given temperature, you'll be given maybe two resistances. So, the resistance you are looking for is given by the initial resistance. So, the resistance which is here, should correspond to the temperature coefficient at that resistance. So this alpha A goes with this one. And then you just need to find the difference in the two temperatures. And then you find the product. You would find your answer. Okay, for example, a coil of copper wire has a resistance of 100 ohms when its temperature is 0 degrees. Determine the resistance at 70 degrees if the temperature coefficient of resistance of copper at 0 degrees is 0 0.0043 per degree Celsius. So in our solutions, you always start by gathering the data. You realize that RT1 has been given already, which is 100 degrees. Okay, so that is the resistance at the initial temperature. That's why we are calling it RT1. R being the resistance T1, which is temperature 1, which is 0 there. And then we have the temperature coefficient at the initial temperature, which is alpha 1. And this has been given to be 0 0.0043. Okay. Then we have T1, which is the initial temperature itself. That is 0 degrees. And we have been given temperature 2, which is 70 degrees. They want us to calculate the resistance at 70 degrees, which is the resistance at temperature 2. Okay. So with the formula, this one, you have the resistance at temperature 2 is equal to resistance at temperature 1, open bracket 1 plus temperature coefficient at 1 and the difference in the temperatures. So this will produce RT2 is, you just, everything here has been given. When you substitute, we have that. From there, it's just calculated away. And then it will produce 
RRT2 as 130.1 ohms. So this is just a basic example, but all the other problems can be solved in the same way. Just analyze the data, and then you substitute in the given equation, and then you can easily solve the problems. Thanks for watching.